Well, joining us now is New Zealand Women's Weekly Garden Editor Lee Bramwell with some hot tips for what to do in the garden as we move into the cooler months of the year. Now, Lee, it is well into autumn. What should we be doing in our gardens? Well, it's still so warm. There's heaps to do normally at this time of year. I'd be kind of thinking, good book inside in front of the telly or whatever. But no, this it's a great time for planting because it's still warm, but the soil has cooled down a wee bit. So you can be chucking in all kinds of things that normally you would think might only be really appropriate for summer. OK, so you're the expert. What should, what should I be planting <laughs> right now? Well, really, traditionally in autumn, we should plant carrots. And the thing I find really funny about carrots is that people plant carrots. They get a packet of seeds and they go like that. And That's then a few do, weeks later, <laughs> yeah, but... They come up hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of carrots and they get all crowded so that they don't grow properly and then you have to thin them out. Now, how stupid is that? I can't believe that people do like this. Like that on screen. OK, fair enough. Yeah, well, that would be me, <laughs> so I can understand how people do that. And long you go picking out every second carrot, I mean, have people not got better things to do? So I recommend, and other people do agree, that when you plant carrot seeds, just, you know, I mean, they're a bit hard to separate because they're minuscule, but just a few here and there. Don't plant a great big thick row because, you know, it's just a waste of time. OK. Oh, I f OK, fair enough. So and the ones, nice you, sprinkle. the ones that you pull out, they're too small to eat anyway, so they're just wasted. No one likes a wasted carrot. No, Now, exactly. obviously, this is something that you think we should be growing at the moment <laughs> because you've brought it in for me, but you said, oh, no, I want to touch lovely, it. it's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want to touch it, no. They look like warts, bits of broccoli. <laughs> I think they're horrible. <laughs> horrible green warts. Um, I hate those big heads of broccoli. I grew broccoli a couple of years ago, and, and it was huge. Huge, and I just couldn't eat it because the texture is like, you know, 80 grit sandpaper really at the top part. Um, and so there's this stuff, which is sweet stem broccoli. That one's called Bella Verde, I think. It's not very Bella Verde now because it's been in the supermarket, but is it normally easy to it grow? is. So you can just grow the stuff and that's what it grows like. It grows little flower heads. Okay and nice long stems, and you eat the stems. Right. And it's great for stir fries. Well, you obviously have never tried broccoli with a bit of lemon juice and some cut-up almonds. It's delicious. I've tried it soaked in champagne. It makes no difference. <laughs> OK, so broccoli for me, for my garden, carrots, uh, those are the two things we should be planting now. I was reading somewhere the other day that they're calling autumn the new spring because of the different climate that we're having at the moment. It's so warm. Would you agree? Is that what's happening? Absolutely. My plum tree, which is supposed to be losing its leaves, it's got new shoots all over it. So has mine. It's got dead yeah. leaves at the bottom, it's got yep. new shoots and flowers at yeah. the top of it. I know. I don't know what to tell it. So yeah. what do you do with that? I mean, that's obviously not going to fruit very well in summer. No. Well, I don't I... know why I say obviously, like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think, well, I cut the shoots off, actually. <laughs> I gave mine a trim at the weekend. Really? Is it just, no, no, it's autumn. Yeah, can't yeah. Stop, new shoots stop just doing yet. that. Just shed the leaves and just go to sleep. Do we need to do anything special in the gardens because of the warmer climate now? Um, drink more gin because <laughs> my lime tree, which has normally got ripe fruit on it around September, has got ripe fruit on it now. <laughs> Okay. And they're so ripe, they're dropping on the ground and I am mowing over limes with the lawnmower. OK, no one likes so, to do that. So no. drink. OK, got that one. And finally, snails always seem to be a problem in the garden, particularly at this time of year. What can you do to get rid of them or at least keep them away from your precious broccoli? Right, well, I can't do anything about that because I don't like killing things. So, so, so I have a major problem. So I get Go little... Go little snail. <laughs> do I rehome them? No. Oh, no, you <laughs> Pick do them not. up and put them somewhere else. Um, I use grit. And, I put big, and I've got no idea if it works or not, really. Um, big circles of grit around things that I don't want the snails to get into. And quite wide, because, you know, they hop over. If you only right. put that much grit, I think they can jump. Okay. Um, but if you put, like, that much grit... OK. And I use white shell because it looks styly. Oh, nice. Well, Lee, that's just lovely. So don't hurt the little snails. Don't because hurt the snails. Because get upset snails. if you hurt those little snails. Personally, not so much. OK. Well, hey, Lee, thank you so much for joining us. That was enlightening.